Huh? Let's see what's going on down in Pine Ridge. Well, all attempts at a reconciliation between Lum and Grand Happy Spears have failed. And their feud goes merrily on its way. In the meantime, Lum's barbershop business is at a standstill. And its proprietor is casting about for some other line of work to take up. As we look in on the little community today, we find Lum and Abner in the Jotham Down store and library. Lum is busy writing a letter. Yeah, who are you writing to there anyway, Lum? Oh, nobody. What well, now, Lum, you must be writing to somebody. You gotta put a name on the envelope or the post office won't know who to deliver it to. I know that, Abner. I ain't as dumb as I look. look. I mean, uh, I look dumber than I ain't. Um, uh, nothing. Well, Lum, if, if you ain't writing to nobody, I don't reckon it matters where it gets there or not, because there won't be nobody there to read it when it gets there no way. Abner, you're just bothering me with all this criddle prattle. Well, who are you writing to? I'm writing in for a booklet. Booklet? Well, we got all the books you can read right here in the library, Lum. There's Gilbert the Boy Trapper. Well, and, this is a special one. It's called The Story of You in Navy Blue. Of uh, me in Navy Blue? Who wrote that? Well, it ain't a short enough story like old, say, Little Red Riding Hood, for instance. Well, no, naturally, it couldn't be the same as that long. That'd be stealing if one fella just copied down a story wrote by somebody else. Now, go ahead and tell me about this story, about that navy blue. I can tell you right off whether it stole from Red Riding Hood or not. Well, I can't tell you the story of it. Oh, but... ain't it nice? Well, sure, it's nice, but the trouble oh, is... collect as much as you can, uh, as you can of it, Long. Is there a wolf in it? No, of course there ain't. Well, it must be different then, because there's a wolf in Red Riding Hood. See, one day she was toting a big basket of groceries down a... My dog is, wait a minute. wonder if she'd be interested in working for me here at the store. Well, you couldn't hire her no way. She's fictitious. I don't care what nationality she is, Mom. All I care about is she's stout enough to tote a basket of groceries. If you don't do your work better than you've been doing lately, Mom, I'm going to have to get a new deal ever, boy. Reckon whereabouts I could get in touch with her anyway. can't get in touch with her because she ain't alive. Oh, too bad. When did it happen? I mean, she never was alive in the first place. Oh. She wasn't a real live person. That was just a story somebody made up. Oh, oh, sure. <laughs> What's the matter? <laughs> That's just a story, ain't it? Of course it is. Yeah. Well, anyway, she was toting this big basket of groceries through the woods, and all of a sudden, why, she meets up with a big wolf. Abner, I know the story. I never did know where the wolf come from, but anyway, uh, Little Red Riding Hood seen this wolf, who was on his way over to see his grandma, and he said, Oh, what big teeth you've got, wolf. Almost as big as Grandma's teeth. And then the Abner, I told you, I know that story. And if, even if I didn't, I wouldn't want to hear it. You wouldn't. Now just stop bothering me and let me finish this letter. What letter? Listen here. Did you recollect nothing? Huh? I'm sending in for a booklet called The Story of You in Navy Blue. Tells all about how to get in the Navy. Get in the Navy? Yeah. Oh, me, Lum, you ain't going to run away from home and join the Navy, are you? I don't know why not. I ain't enjoying life here in Pine Ridge no more. Yeah, huh? Well, it looks like everything I take up here lately turns out bad. Yeah. You make a success out of myself, but nothing looks like. No, you can't. Broke. Nobody will credit me for nothing. Now this fight with Grandpad, him out gunning for me and everything else. He ain't toting that gun no more, Long. No, but he will, because he finds out where his woman Charity hit it at. Yeah, he might. He's still bothering mad at you for shaving off his beard, I know that. And he goes around town telling all the mean things about me he can make up. Yeah, he's gossiping about you. I know that. No, sir, Abner, life's just getting too non-unbearable for me here. So I figured I might just as well serve my country and join the Navy. Well, call me. They won't want you to go on. I don't know why not. They need a lot of new recruits. They do, huh? They're showing this article I've been reading. That's what gave me the idea in the first place. Well, I don't know what you could do in the Navy, Mom. You wouldn't be much good at the fighting part of it, I know that. Oh, me, you're even scared of Grandpappy Spears when he's toting farms. Well, that's different. Besides, the uh, branch of the Navy I'm aiming on, Johnny, and don't do no actual fighting. They don't, huh? No, uh, they got a back of other jobs to do. And they're mighty important jobs, too. Yeah, well, uh, what branch of it were you figuring on getting into? You tell us about it here in the newspaper. Uh, branch is called the Wave. Wave? Yeah, that's what they call them now. Hmm. Huh. Don't they call them sailors no more? Not this new outfit. Well, yeah. It's a good name, too. More than likely got it from the ocean waves, because the Navy most generally is out there on the ocean, you know. They might have boat. got it right from there. Might be. Well, you're kind of old to be getting in the Navy, though, Lum. Oh, a little. 
I can fool them on that, though. Fool them? See, the enlisted waves have to be 20 to 35 year old. But the officers can be 20 to 49 year old. I believe I'd rather start in as officer anyway. Well, wait a minute. You're over 49. Well, I'm a heap over that. I don't look it, though. Well. If I trim up my mustache and dye it a little, I could pass for 45 anywhere. Well, if somebody's near sighted and it's an awful dark night, you might pass for 45, but that's about the only way. No, no, no. I've kept my age awful good. You've kept it all right. You ain't changed it in the last 10 years, I don't believe. Well, anyways, I know my age ain't going to keep me out of the waves. Well, even if it don't, Lum, I still don't see what kind of a job that you could hold down an outfit like that. Oh, they got plenty of jobs that has to be done. I'm just a fella can do them, too. What? Yeah, let me give you a couple of examples of the kind of jobs the waves are doing now. Examples? Yeah, they mentioned some of them in this article here. Oh, yeah. Now, if one of the jobs is doing barber work, Lum, you better forget that right now. Here, listen to this. Control tower operators. Training to serve in control towers at naval air bases. Helping to direct the takeoff and landing of speedy fighters and huge full motor bombers. Well, you don't know how to do that, Lum. Direct them big bombers. Why, well, ain't nothing to it. Just set up in this tower they got and lean out the window and pint in whatever direction you want the bomber to go. Is that all there is to it? I think it is. Well, just point up. Our planes always go up. I ain't for sure, of course. Might be a little more to it than that, but I could pick it up fast, I know. Uh-huh. Here's another job in the waves I could handle. Radio. Uh-huh. Operate Navy radio transmitting and receiving equipment. Huh. Send and receive on all frequencies used by the Navy. Encipher and decipher code messages. Adjust and repair radio direction finders and sound equipment, et cetera. What does all that mean, Mom? Huh? Well, when you boil it all down, it just means operating a radio. Oh. I know I can do that. Yeah, I believe I can sit over there at my place of the evening and run that radio mine with both eyes tied behind my back. Or, I mean, blindfolded. Yeah, you can run that. I've heard you do a pretty good job. Of... Set about any station you mention on it. He can, huh? Yeah, Shreveport, Shenandoah, Iowa, I can get them all. Yeah, but uh, what do they need anybody in the Navy to do that for them? Um, that's what I can't see. Well, it's just something to keep the morales up, I reckon. Uh, for instance, a batch of sailors might be homesick and want to listen to the radio. More than likely, they'd want to listen to their hometown station. So natural, they got to have a fellow around that knows how to tune in them stations. Oh, I see. Yeah. Fact is, I believe I'll take my own radio along, so I'll be sure I know how to run it. What, will they let you do that? Oh, sure they will. Especially as long as I'll be an officer, an uh, admiral, or a corporal major, or something high up like that. Dog is always I can get in there. Is there any other job for ways to do in there? Lord? Oh, hundreds and hundreds of them. Oh, oh, Here, oh. Here's another one I'd be good at, too. Aerographer's mate. Huh. No, I ain't sure just how to pronounce that, but according to this, it has something to do with making weather observations. Weather observations? Yeah, they're using thermometers and barometers and all such as that, I think. Huh. Making weather charts and stuff. What it is, is just studying up what kind of weather they're going to have. Oh, you figure that out, huh? Yeah. And all I've got to do is just wait for my left foot to start aching and I know it. Showing up on the rain, then. Yeah, that foot of yours is a sure sign. Never does fail. Well, in all. case that don't work, I'll just take the almanac along with me. Why, well, sure. That thing tells exactly what the weather's going to be months ahead of time. Yeah, yeah. I'm surprised the Navy ain't caught on to using the almanac. Yeah, that is cute. More well, like that, they're just a busy. They don't have much time for reading, I reckon. Yeah, they're busy, all right. Sailing them boats and stuff. That's why they need to recruit all the waves they can right now. And I think I'd fit in that outfit just fine. No, maybe I ought to write in for that free book list, too. Where, where about you send in for? And just write to the waves, Washington, 25, D.C. Hmm. But I don't believe you're the type for the waves, Abner. I'm pretty stout, Mom. Um, is there any pay goes with the job? Granted, there's one of the best things about it. Pretty good, huh? Well, I don't know exactly what it is, but, you see, they pay for your vittles and lodging and doctor bills and dentist bills and... So when you take all that into consideration, uh, you can figure you're making anywhere from 150 to $235 a month. A month? Not long. You sure that don't say a year? No, sir. A month. Huh. And on top of that, they buy your uniform. They do. Thanks, is You get $200 worth of clothes free. For the land's sake, that last the fellow the rest of his life. Oh, $200. Huh. This is a good thing I'm getting into. Oh, that is Just a listen to what it says here about the uniforms. Yeah. The trim waves uniform especially designed for the Navy, is style to flatter every figure. Well. I've got just a figure they can be flattered to. Your figure needs something. I know that. It's all out of shape. Here, here's something else. There's a good chance for advancements in the waves, too. 
I bound you a fellow could work up from a rear admiral to a front commander in no time at all. I don't know how I've just got to get in there. No, Abner, now you ain't got the figure for huh? first place. I ain't, huh? And I can't hardly wait to see me in my uniform. I think I'll have a parade with myself. March up and down the street. Folks cheering. Children tearing up telephone books and throwing them at me. I don't know I've got to get in that with you. No, now. Abner, you'll never make it. You couldn't measure up. Oh, Dad, blame it all anyway. That was your ring there, but... Oh. Better answer it while I finish up this letter. Yeah, hey, uh, wish I could write in for that free booklet. That's what I'll... Hello, John, I'm down at the store library. Abner Peabody doing the talking. Mom? No, I ain't heard your good news or nobody else's. What is it, Miss Beckley? Your daughter's joining the what? Why, she's a girl. How'd she get in there? Get in what, Emma? Are they taking girls into that, too? Oh, they are? Are you sure about that? Oh, well, I do know. <laughs> yeah, well, much obliged for calling, Miss Beckley. <laughs> yeah. All right. Goodbye. <laughs> What happened, Abner? <laughs> What's so funny? Oh, nothing. Well, nothing. What are you laughing about? <laughs> I'm just thinking how much I'm going to enjoy seeing you parade up and down the street in that wave uniform. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's going to be quite a sight. Yes, sir, quite a sight. <laughs>